Hey guys, so today I'm going to be sharing with you what is in my bag. It's sort of an updated what's in my bag video since I've done a couple of these in the past, but I think these are really, really fun. It kind of gives you a more, like, I don't know, it's just a little more personal. It gives you a peek into someone's handbag, which is kind of a personal thing. Um, and it kind of gives you a better, like, feel as to kind of the things that they like, things that are important enough to kind of bring along. So first I'm going to kind of share with you the bag itself and kind of give you my thoughts on it and what it is and all the details of the actual bag. And then I'm going to show you what's inside of it. So, if you guys have seen previous What's in My Bag videos from me in the past, you probably realize that I don't really prepare for these. <laughs> it's just literally what my bag looked like and what is in here from when I picked it up off of the countertop this morning. So I'm going to show you the bag. Uh, this is my baby. I love it so much. I've had it for probably about, I would say, six months. Um, my friend and I went shopping and we both got them. We had both been eyeing them, so that was really fun. Um, it is the Louis Vuitton Luminous PM and it's the imprint leather, which I really love. And the color is called Infini, which I'll put all the info below. Um, but it's sort of like a really deep, rich navy, which I love because it goes with absolutely everything. Um, I can wear it with black, I can wear it with brown, I can wear it with absolutely anything. I love this bag so much. I love all of the brass detailing. Um, I just, I think it's just a gorgeous bag. So it's got this, um, it's got the top handle, which you can carry like this. Or, you can easily fit it up on your shoulder, which I love. And it also has this really cool strap hair's all in the way. It also has this really cool strap that I just always kind of leave hanging. Um, but you can actually wear it like a crossbody, which I do when I travel and stuff like that, which is really fun. So I just felt like this bag was really versatile. It was kind of expensive, but I know I'm going to have it forever. And um, I definitely don't want to be purchasing any bags in the future for years. Um, so, the inside of it is really nice, I don't want to get in there. Um, I love how it's got the stripe, it's really, really pretty. Um, it's got a lot of compartments, which I love. Um, let's see, how can I show you? It's got two side compartments right there that don't zip, and then it's got this large compartment that does zip, and then it's got the main, like, body of the bag, and then it's got this compartment in the front where I keep my cell phone, which I will show you my iPhone. I do not have any case on it right now, which I need to. When I listen to music in the car, my um, my audio jack like won't fit into the top with my case, so I always have to take the case off. I guess I'll empty out these little side pockets first, which I keep a lot of like more handy things in there that I might need. I've got my hand cream, which is my hand food that I've talked about before by Soap and Glory, which is amazing stuff. You can get a tube of this for five bucks at Sephora. Best hand cream ever. I've raved about that for at least a year now, it's wonderful. Um, my MAC lip conditioner, I've really fallen in love with this stuff over the past several months. It's just the plain one. I love it. I wear it daily on my lips. I wear it under lipstick. I wear it by itself. I just think it's wonderful. Um, I have some Spearmint Orbit, which I'm not really a big like gum chewing person. Probably had that pack for months, but it's always nice to have. And then in this pocket, it feels like a lot of Yep, a lot of makeup. Wow. I always find so many lip products when I do these videos. I have so many lip products in my bag, and it's kind of embarrassing. And this isn't even my makeup bag that's in here, so we'll get to that. Um, I have my Chanel. This is the Bagatelle color. It's 161. I really love that. Um, this I'm absolutely in love with. It's what I'm wearing today. It's the Bite Lipstick and Fig. I really want to get some more colors by this brand because I'm really loving this one. That is good stuff. I have the Color Riche Balm. Is this the stuff that I liked? Yes. It was one of these that I didn't like. I don't know where it is now because now I kind of want to tell you which one I didn't like. But um, this is the L'Oreal Color Riche Balm. It is shade... Uh, Provence Romance. Really pretty. I have a little sample of the Giorgio Armani foundation, which I think I'm going to go buy. Um, all the details of that will be coming soon. It's really good stuff. And my little Chanel mirror, which is nice because the powder that I carry does not have a mirror to it, which I will share in a minute. Um, I have a little, I have a dime, and a little hair thingy. I always keep a lot of hair ties and these are my very favorite any of these that have the little rubber woven in it really keeps my hair from slipping through my hair is very fine so that's a problem 
Um, my keys, this is the best keychain ever. I love it so much. Um, my big car key doesn't fit in it, so it just always hangs out. Um, but it's the Louis Vuitton, what's this called, um, the Amarant. It's really, really pretty. Um, I just love it. In the sunlight, it has like sparkles to it. It's really nice. I've had that for a couple years. I really love that keychain. I have another hair tie. This is good because it's forcing me to clean out my bag. This little mini ink pen. Um, some more hair ties and a little hair clip. A little sample of Aquaphor that I got at the dermatologist, which is good. I didn't know that was in there. That is it for that little compartment. I have my sunglasses, which are not Burberry, but they're in a Burberry case. Um, they're my Ray-Bans. I've been wearing these a lot lately. I wear these mostly in the summer. Um, I've had them for maybe two, three years now. Um, really love them. I think they're really flattering. They're not like giant men-looking Ray-Bans, but um, they're men or women's. I mean, but they're really nice. I love those so much. They're comfortable. They're good. Um, I have my little Frederick Fakai mini hairbrush, which I love. That little little guy. Um, I'll show you my wallet last. This is my very favorite cosmetic bag. It feels a little stuffed. I think I've got too much in here. This is just a little uh, MAC cosmetic bag. It's washable. I can't tell you how many times I've thrown this thing in the washing machine. It's nice. The perfect little size. And holds everything I need. Um, this is my face powder that I use for touching up. It's the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural. I use the shade medium. And I carry just a little kabuki brush so that the brush doesn't get germy and get all over everything. Um, it's just a little Sigma one. It's the little Miss Taylor brush. Really cute. I always like to have like a bronzer or something with me or a blush or something that I can just easily apply that has a good brush with it. This Hourglass bronzer looks like that. It's been my favorite uh, powder bronzer for years. Looks like that. It's the waterproof. Let's see. Hourglass Superficial Mirage Waterproof Bronzer. It comes with a nice brush actually. Um, the product's really nice and it's by far my favorite powder bronzer. This is where the lip products get kind of insane. I have another one of these Color Riche Balm colors in Legally Regal. These are really good. I need to probably ditch one of these, but I just have one. Um, trying to clean out, like I said. I have my little Chloe Rollerball perfume. It's not my favorite scent, but it smells pretty good. I like to have it with me just in case I forget perfume or whatever. It's not essential, but I like it. Um, my favorite Revlon lip butter and creme brulee. I think I have time to show you all these, but I'll kind of... It's a really good color. It's just very nude. It works perfectly all the time. My Basha um, Green Tea Blotting Linens for my face. I have a double-ended eye pencil. It's the Urban Decay 24-7. I just always have this one with me. It's the one that came in the Naked palette, um, just for touching up and stuff. I have my Sigma Brow Gel, which I always have with me too, just for touching up. Um, this, I probably don't need to carry, the Dior 157. I love this lip gloss, um, but I've got too many lip glosses in there, and I haven't used that one in a while. It's in the bottom. Um, I always have a concealer with me just in case. It's the Studio Finish by MAC. I wear the shade MC20, and the High Tea Lipstick from MAC, which is one of my all-time favorites. just goes with anything. Um, but yeah, I'm really loving this bite one. I need to put all of my makeup in the little makeup bag. It always ends up making its way into like little side compartments and things. It's just easier to keep up with if it's all in here. And then finally, my wallet, which you've seen in probably most of my What's in My Bag videos. I got this four or five, four years ago. Is that right? In L.A. When I went with my friend Lorraine um, for IMATS the first time. I guess that was four years ago. Yeah, anyways, I bought this at the Louis Vuitton Rodeo Drive. That was really fun. I love this wallet. It has lasted. It looks perfect. The only thing with this white stuff is that sometimes um, it can get a little dirty, but you can just wipe it off with um, just a little bit of vinegar and water mixed together, and it takes that um, kind of the dingy look off. But I've never really had a huge issue with that. But I love this wallet. It is the best wallet ever. I love it. So that is it. I hope that you guys enjoyed the little peek into my handbag. A little more personal, which I think is fun. But it's always fun to see what people have got stashed in their handbags. But um, anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed it and that you are having a great week so far. And I will talk to you all very, very soon.